I tell you what, it's night and day. Uh, last year, got here, first year in uh, college, college ball. Mm. It's just night and day. You know, uh, the guys got we built a great rapport over the years. Year here, uh, this past year, uh, got a good feel of what college ball is about. Um, you know, coach, uh, the chemistry, coach Moots, all of us. You know, uh, we're, we're together again as a full staff again. So things are really clicking um, accordingly. And this is a good situation. And with that consistency and that good situation, you've also seen how some of your guys have been able to grow yes. in the spring. Um, yes. Just talk about the overall development as well as some of the transfers that have come in, how that synergy has come on the defense. Side yeah, the uh, I mean, a lot of guys are stepping up. Uh, you know, Xavier Post is a guy that comes to mind. Uh, going to the uh, training camp last year, didn't really know what I was going to get. You know, and uh, and that's being honest, but I, I tell you what, man, uh, nobody's worked harder than that guy. Uh, he's come come to work every day. Uh, he's starting to show some leadership traits. That's been good. Uh, Broderick Johnson, uh, he was a signee in 2023 uh, from Katy. Uh, he's a guy that's grown a bunch. Uh, you know, Trey Snead is a new addition. Uh, he came from Northwestern. Uh, you know, he's gonna be doing multiple things for us, and uh, he's doing a great job. And, he brings a set of skills that we didn't have uh, here last year. Uh, you know, just in terms of rushing and dropping and all the different multitude of things that he did and can do. Um, you know, Victor uh, and Ducey, Ducey. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he came from uh, UTPB. Uh, he's a defensive tackle, very versatile. Uh, you know, he, he, he possesses a set of skills that uh, we need and have provided a lot of depth for us. And, He's a guy that's going to compete and play a lot for us as well. Uh, you know, Ed Bobano, we know his name. Uh, he's a guy that's been around here for some years. Uh, he's done well over the years. Uh, you know, I, I joke with him a lot because he's been an all-conference player. Uh, but right now, I'm just really poking at him because I'm like, it's great to be an all-conference player, but let's be a consensus all-conference player. So you know, there's a gap that needs to be bridged uh, with him. and. His ability, and he, he's really been bridging that gap. He's really turned into a leader. Uh, guys respect him uh, around here. I think they've always, always respected his play, uh, but they really respect uh, the, the leader that he's become and is showing a bunch. Uh, you know, I can go on and on. Joey Finley, uh, he's a kid that uh, got in here late last year, uh, wasn't really able to make an impact last year. Uh, he showed some uh, flashes of being able to help us this year. And excited about him. And, you know, every, all those guys are like uh, Elijah Fields. Can't forget about him. You know, he was a kid that played for us a little bit last year, started a few games for us last year. And, you know, I tell you, uh, he's come a long way. You know, and his maturity and his understanding of the game. And, you know, uh, those guys, I got a great room. Uh, those guys are pretty sharp and uh, got, they've got a high FBI. And uh, they challenge me every day as well. You know, so, uh, we, you know, we're talking about their growth. I feel like I've grown as a coach as well. Um, you know, if you ask them, they'll tell you that, you know, I'm sure they see that uh, as I've gotten more comfortable with the college game and uh, what is asked, what's asked of me at, at the college level. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, a fun, it's a fun deal when you got a good room, uh, good chemistry, good coaching staff like we have, man. It's, it's been a good ride. And you've been saying about growing as a coach, you get to showcase those skills, whether it's, you want to say, head coach of a color or guest, or guest assistant coach, however you yeah. want to preface it but you'll be able to show it on Saturday. So talk about the overall environment and then going up against Coach May. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that, that's going to be interesting. Uh, Coach May and I are uh, two guys that always uh, jab at each other coming up and down the halls. And we have a lot of fun poking at each other, but uh, love Coach May. He's a great, great individual, a high-level competitor. Uh, you wouldn't know that just you know, meeting him in person because he's a real reserve, but it's in him. It's boiling. All you got to do is bring up anything that deals with anything competition. I mean, he rises to the occasion, but I know he'll have those guys going on the purple squad. Uh, you know, I got a good group uh, over, over there on the white squad, uh, both coaches and players alike. You know, just look to go out there and compete, you know, have a good time, uh, show all the alumni and the, uh, the Lumberjacks and the lum, uh, lumberjack, lumberjack alumni, uh, you know, kind of what we've been working on this spring and let them be proud of what we We've worked on, you know, this spring going into the fall. Well, thank you for your time, Coach. Yes, sir. Yeah.